Flow cytometry is a popular laser-based technology to analyse the characteristics of cells or particles. This video will teach you how to prepare and stain your cells for flow cytometry analysis. What you will need is a biohazardous waste container, wash buffer, DAPI, blocking buffer, cells, 96 well plate, primary and secondary antibodies, or conjugated primary antibody, pipettes and tips, Eppendorf tubes, waste for biological liquid, a centrifuge and timer. If you are using an antibody for the first time, the working concentration should be determined via titration. Titration is important to avoid excess antibody, which can result in the antibody binding to low affinity targets. This low affinity binding can increase background fluorescence. Use your antibody's ideal working concentration and dilute the primary antibody in wash buffer. After washing your cells, resuspend them at approximately 1 to 10 million cells per mil in ice cold wash buffer with sodium azide. Add 100 microliters of the cell suspension to a 96 well plate with a U-shaped bottom. Cell viability should be measured using a marker for live and dead cells. Viability should be around 95% and not less than 90%. Then centrifuge the cells at 200 Gs for five minutes and discard the supernatant. Resuspend your cells in the blocking buffer, which consists of PBS with 10% serum. However, the type of serum will depend on the host species of your primary and secondary antibodies. Block the cells for 30 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. Centrifuge the cells at 200 Gs for 5 minutes. Make sure the pellet is visible in the plate. Then discard the supernatant. Add the diluted antibody solutions from the first step to the corresponding wells. To keep the unstained control well free from antibodies, add wash buffer instead of the antibody solution to this well. Resuspend all the wells to ensure the cells are in contact with the antibody solution. Incubate for 30 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius in the dark. Wash the cells three times by centrifugation at 200 Gs for five minutes and resuspend them in ice cold wash buffer. You may need to adjust the conditions of the centrifugation, force and time for the cell types used. If you are using a conjugated primary antibody, skip to the addition of the live dead staining. Dilute the second antibody, in this case a goat to mouse with A488 fluorochrome in wash buffer at the optimal dilution, determined by the user according to the manufacturer's instructions, and then suspend the cells in this solution. Incubate for 30 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. This incubation must be done in the dark. Wash the cells three times by centrifugation at 200 Gs for five minutes and resuspend them in ice cold wash buffer. These washes remove excess secondary antibody to reduce background fluorescence. As before, ensure the pellet is visible in the plate before discarding the supernatant. Check for live, dead cells by staining with DAPI 
or other viability dyes for five minutes at four degrees Celsius in the dark before analysis at the flow cytometer. Or, if your cells are being subsequently fixed, include a fixable, live, dead cell marker. Store the cell suspension immediately at 4 degrees Celsius in the dark. For best results, analyse the cells on the flow cytometer as soon as possible. We recommend analysis on the same day or as soon as possible. For extended storage, as well as for greater flexibility in planning time on the cytometer, fix the cells with 1 to 4% paraformaldehyde to prevent deterioration. Ensure you wash a couple of times before storing appropriate buffer. For this, make sure you use a fixable live dead dye.